Hi, I'm Mars Charlie and welcome to my YouTube channel. Do remember to hit the subscribe button. So I'm up this afternoon in my vegetable garden. Vegetable garden is possibly a slight exaggeration. I have this raised bed and another raised bed there and one round the corner. Um, but it's enough for me at the moment. So this bed is completely empty and I've been growing a few things in the greenhouse to plant out into it. And I'm also gonna put some things in from seed. So I have got some Savoy cabbage here. So these I planted a little while ago and I'm gonna pop them in this bed behind me. It's a bit noisy with cars going past. Um, and I've got some carrots as well, but I started these in the greenhouse. I'm gonna pop these in and I'm also gonna put some straight in from seed. A little bit of an experiment to see what does, does the best. I've also got love mole seeds and these are dwarf French beans. And they did really well last year. They're just tiny. You don't need to put um, canes in for them. They just grow at a low level and I had an abundance of green beans. So I'm thrilled with those. So I'll put some more in. And then I've also got, so there's the carrots. I've got two different types of lettuce. So that's an Italian picking lettuce and then just a traditional round lettuce and then some curly kale. This is Billy's favourite and I love kale as well. So always put some of that in. And then I've already written the names on these tags. Um, and those have got name tags. So, right, let's get going. So I'm gonna start planting out my beans. I've got my label there, ready done. I'm just gonna place that in the ground. These beans were brilliant last year, so I'm just gonna pop a few in my hand and then make a little hole with my finger and drop in a bean and then cover over. And I'm going to make probably about a 10 centimeter gap and place another one in. And then another 10 centimeters and another. And I'll probably get two more in this row here. So they're just not too far down in the soil, probably about an inch. And then I'm going to place another row up along here as well. So again, leaving a nice gap for them. And then they go. So it's quite awkward me leaning over this chicken wire, but it's quite difficult actually to get out. We did have an awful problem with rabbits last year. So this has been a bit of a lifesaver because it's so disheartening when the rabbits come along and eat all your veg but I do feel like a bit of a meanie with it. Right, now for my Savoy cabbages. So I'm going to pop the tag in the ground there and just carefully make a little hole and in they go. Being careful that you've got the roots all covered and just pack the soil around and push it down a little bit and then leaving a good space for them so they've got room to grow and again placing that in, popping the soil around and there, my third one in, these are a bit smaller, I should reach forward, oh I don't fall flat on my face, Put that one in and then this last little one can go at the back here. So we'll push the soil around and I shall give those a good water in a minute. Right, I shall move that out the way. And then for some kale. So you're going to pop that in and pop some kale onto my hand. Show you what the cow seeds look like. They are really tiny, really tiny wee. I might move that up a little bit closer. Um, so I'm just going to make a little, little trench with my finger and actually, and if there's any lumps of soil, break them up as you go to just a little bit of a line and then I'm just going to scatter these kale seeds 
in here and then just brush the soil over. And there, it really is terribly simple. Right, now moving on to some lettuce. So I'm going to pop some of this. This is the Italian picking lettuce. got a little tiny packet inside. Some of them come straight into the packet and you've got to be terribly careful opening them. But let me just show you these seeds here. Pop some in my hand. These are tiny, tiny mini sunflower seeds. So that is probably enough to start with. Carefully, actually I'm going to fold that over a couple of times so I don't lose those seeds on the ground. And then again with my finger just making a little fire in the soil and sprinkling those seeds in there and then just brushing them over like that. Right, and now for these carrots. So, these are the ones that I have grown in my greenhouse. And I'm going to select the biggest. Those have got really good roots. And I'm just gonna make a hole with my finger, quite a long one because these roots are already quite long. And I'm just going to drop him in there and then carefully put the soil around, gently press it down. That one. And again, I'm making it quite a bigger hole, well, deeper hole with my finger. And poking that in. That's got quite a lot of soil, so I'm just squeeze that off gently. Now I put my carrots in this bed here, and the ground is much harder. And they had a real problem. They came out such peculiar shapes but I'm hoping this year I'm going to have much longer, thinner carrots than the peculiar ones we got last summer. But it's all a bit of a learning curve and an experiment, to be honest. Trial and error, I found, in gardening. So there. And then I shall carry on doing those in a moment, but I'm going to pop some of these carrot seeds in along here and let's see what happens. Let's see which ones grow better than others. Carefully put some of those into my hand. I might need to thin these out a little bit. But again, I'm just going to do that. Make a bit of a furrow gently try and sort of relatively evenly scatter those seeds in there and then just brush the soil over like that. So, you know, you can see that I don't have much space, but hopefully I get a really good harvest from this little lot that I've put in the ground today and I shall keep you posted. But I hope you've enjoyed watching. I hope it encourages you to get planting. You can even use pots if you don't have the space to put something like this in. You can grow things in tubs. Anyway, enjoy.